Hey you guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing, I'm gonna be doing a challenge video where I have to use all of the shadows in one eyeshadow palette to create a look. I've never done anything like this before in my entire life. I saw Alyssa Ashley and Jay Kissar do this video and when I saw it, I was just kind of like, yes, I really, really wanna take part in doing something like this. So that's what I've come to do. So I asked my son, please, can you choose a palette for me? It can't have too many colors colors like it can't be like a 32 pan palette or whatever so he chose the Venus 2 by Lime Crime and this is actually going to be a challenge because this palette has a lot of color in it it's not your standard everyday natural neutral kind of situation so let's see what I can achieve so first of all I'm going to be using mustard here oh and I've already concealed my whole eye so that I can do my look so I'm gonna go in with mustard oh and that is so gorgeous and I'm literally just doing whatever comes to my mind because I have no clue how this is gonna turn out and you know we gotta blend you know we gotta blend now I'm gonna go in with jam this orange here this is just so pretty and I'm just gonna put it just under where I put that yellow have you ever noticed like right there in the corner is where you gather the most amount of fallout but like, I never get it on my cheek I always just get it like on the corner right there that's why I never do foundation first that's just me personally anyway so now we're gonna go into mud this lovely brown shade and I'm kind of just gonna put it on the outer part of the crease So that's three out of eight shades but those are like the easier shades to use everyone knows what to do with some yellow orange and brown like come on i'm gonna put a little bit more that is so nice oh now is where it kind of gets a little bit hard okay i'm going to use boot this glittery black color okay so i'm gonna use boot and i'm gonna use it right in the corner like literally just dabbing a little bit in the corner and just blending it out slightly towards the crease so I'm not using windshield might wiper motions I'm literally just dragging it slightly now I'm just gonna swirl it on the outer we don't want this black to take over I'm just using literally the tip I'm not using the whole brush I'm just using the very very tip of the brush better oh, that is so much better that is so good okay now look I look like I've been punched in the face <laughs> but I haven't so what have we used so far we've used mustard jam mud and boots so now okay yeah okay so i'm going to use filter and i'm going to even though it's a matte i'm going to use some fixing spray on a flat brush and i'm just going to pick that up oh straight away that's going to hard pan maybe i should have picked this up on my brush and then sprayed it whatever i'm going to put it on the very inner corner Now because I went in with a wet brush, the rest of the pigment does not want to pick up on my brush. Which is understandable, because I kind of just did that to myself, didn't I? Don't treat your mattes like your shimmers. So I've got like the tiniest little bit of blue. We'll build that up. Okay, so we're going to go into Marsh. And we're going to just put that next to Filter, which is the blue. And then I'm gonna go into it's called pigeon and I'm gonna go in on the outer and 
I wonder why this shade is called Pigeon. Is it because of like all the, the greeny shades they have in their feathers or? That's the only thing I can think of. I've completely ruined that blue, it's like it's completely ruined, but whatever. So I'm gonna go back with that black and kind of just dab it into that green. Okay, so we're gonna try again with that blue and hopefully now it will pick up. As you guys know, that's an automatic hard pan. I'm gonna have to scratch that off in order to get to what's underneath. But I'm gonna have to wait until it's dry 100%. Oh, it's really not coming off. That was my own fault anyway. Oh. Okay, so we've got some of it in the corner. Some of it. I'm sorry, palette. I'm sorry. <laughs> and now there's one last shade, and it's called Fly. It's this shade right here. I'm gonna use it on the inner corner. Cool. Okay, so I am going to go and clean this up, do the rest of my makeup, and I'll be back. Hey guys, so after doing my foundation contour, I've only put a little bit of like lip balm on my lips. And I've put on my eye liner and done my lower lash line. I just put a little bit more of that black on my lower lash line. I don't know what it is, but whenever I don't like doing my lower lash line on camera, I like going off camera and doing it. And I've also done my mascara. And after like finessing it a little bit, this is the finished look. And actually, I'm not that mad at it. I'm annoyed at myself for messing up that blue color, but you can still see it right there in the corner. It's there, okay? It's definitely there. I wanna challenge everybody who's watching this video to do the all eyeshadows in one palette challenge if that's what it's called whatever completely ruin this palette or the blue in this palette i'm gonna have to scrape all of that mess off crazy but i actually quite enjoyed doing this challenge i might do it again sometime in the future with a little bit more of a usable palette like this kind of palette i think you would more so use along Side another palette it's not that like certain shadows will go together but I don't feel like every single shadow every single shadow goes with one another but this is what I've come up with so I'm not that mad at it anyway so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one